Welcome to the world of Pokemon. It might be a world familiar to you. So it's, it's a little different than you remember, but many things are still the same. Uh, for one, this world is still inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. Uh, for some, Pokemon uh, are pets, others use them for fights. But over the past several decades, some things have definitely shifted. Long gone are the days when small, defenseless ten-year-old children would hike uphill both ways on a Rhyhorn to battle a Beedrill alone in a forest and build a small hovel to sleep inside to wait out the outpouring rain, before continuing their journey alone unsupervised into a dangerous world full of monsters. Uh, yeah, you know, these days there's many more safety measures in place. For one thing, um, for one thing, the towns that you may fondly remember are cities now. For example, Pallet Town is now Pallet City. A couple of you might know it a little bit more intimately than others. Um, <laughs> anyways, long story short, the civilization in our region of Kanto has flourished. Kanto, Kanto. Oh yeah, by the way, well, welcome to the world where we all, all pronounce Pokemon names slightly differently. It'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Um, anyways, the times have changed, but Pokemon battling, of course, is still all the rage. Uh, however, eh, trainers are no longer, like, pre-pubescent children. Instead, they're now pubescent children, because as you <laughs> well know, nothing mixes better than raging hormones and emotional ups and downs of puberty. Uh, better than owning, like, a fire-breathing lizard. You know. Yes. It sounds solid. It's honestly, <laughs> like, I support it. Yeah, definitely. That's like what you wanted as a teen, right? Is a giant monster that could destroy I mean, potentially level cities. Yes. Smite my enemies for me? Sure. Yeah. A giant <laughs> bug with literal blades for arms. You know? <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, anyway, it, it is a little bit better than sending out 10 year olds to fend for themselves, you know? Um, so these days, you must first graduate middle school prior to signing up um, to receive a trainer's license. Uh, the course itself, just for a little background. The course itself uh, takes about three months, and the final exam must be done in Celadon City, the shining star of uh, Kanto and its largest metropolis at the time. Um, and then after you have hopefully passed the examination, you're awarded a provisional trainer's permit, which allows you to go to and petition to a local Pokemon professor for sponsorship, and you receive your first starter Pokemon. Uh, now, for you three, uh, that is undoubtedly the one thing that you've been thinking about for quite a long time, but I'd like to start a little before that part, just to build the anticipation a little bit, right? Um, in fact, to make the victory all that much sweeter, let's start with a bit of a hero's journey. The exam itself. Now, you might know that I'm a teacher in real life. <laughs> so. Yeah. Oh, you know, I was ready for a test. You know <laughs> that I had to do it to you. <laughs> um, I've prepared for us today a couple of questions from the test that your characters have all been sitting in on. Uh, most of them were easy. It's a simple process of elimination for all of you, given your various backgrounds. But I'd like to know how many of these questions you okay. can get right. Mm -hmm. um, now. Read over it. Feel free to post your answers either privately to me if you're hiding your scantron sheath behind your hands, uh, <laughs> or publicly if you're feeling bold. Um, but I'll just read a couple of these out to you. I think they're probably readable, but just in case. Um, there's more questions on the test, and we're operating under <laughs> the assumption that most of them are not an issue. Uh, but here's some of the harder ones. Perhaps. Maybe not. Uh, question oh, yeah. number one. Okay. Which of the following types uh, has full immunity to electric type attacks? A. Rock. B. Ground. C. Rock and ground. Or D. None of the above. Um, and then two. In our local region of Kanto, blank type Pokemon are the most abundant. Um, and that is, uh, once again, A. Normal. B. Water. C. Poison. And D. Flying. Um, and then question number three, the Oddish Pokemon line uh, begins to develop secondary uh, sex characteristics, in which case I mean the gender differences that you can visibly see. A, 
immediately after hatching, B, after evolving into gloom, or C, after evolving into vile plume. Some of these are hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is, this is, <laughs> this is on purpose. Hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Milo's uh, like looking down at it going, okay, I know that one. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit. Um, I didn't know I need to say that. <sighs> <laughs> Number four, when running across wild Pokemon, the safer option is to always approach A, infant or recently hatched Pokemon, B, juvenile young Pokemon, or C, older Pokemon. Um, five, uh, trainers are allowed to engage in battles in the following uh, areas. A, Region-sponsored gyms. B. Open grasslands. C. City parking lots. D. All of the above. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what? Like, <laughs> that was kind of tough because I don't. I must like game-wise, uh, pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. But I, <laughs> it's this. I'm. I'm. You know, this is. Don't worry. Don't worry. This is not going to come into a. This is not coming to come into everything. This is just we can't the TPK scene. the party now by answering all these questions wrong. Correct? Well, you can certainly try. <laughs> oh, no. Can I roll an intelligence check to cheat or to <laughs> steal my character? Knows? You can you can, roll a, you can yeah you can roll me a sleight of hand to cheat if you want, and I can uh, g and I mind. can whisper you. I can whisper you <laughs> like a hint for one of the questions if you roll high enough. I do have a fourteen intelligence. You can also roll, uh, like, up to three intelligence checks on three questions if you're not sure. Okay, and I'll okay. give you a hint. And then, but don't take this too seriously. This is just to set the scene. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm just trying, seriously. like, he would be 100% he would be trying to get all these right. He's, so I'm trying to <laughs> yeah. channel Milo. Channel Milo, yeah. <laughs> um, and then question number six. Commanding or allowing Pokemon to attack a civilian or other trainer will result in A, losing your Pokemon, B, losing your license, C, getting arrested, or D, <laughs> all of the above. Um, <laughs> Some of these are like MVA questions that you're like, <laughs> oh yeah, I know that answer. That, that one I just know. <laughs> Um, I really just wanted to re-traumatize you, like, you know, when you take, like, yeah. you know, the ACT or the... You've been out of school too long. Yep. Get it back. Um, <laughs> number seven, captured Pokemon that exceed your trainer level carrying capacity. Um, so based on your trainer level, you're allowed to carry a certain amount of Pokemon. Must be transported back to your sponsoring Pokemon professor. Blank of being caught. So A, within a week. B within three days, C within twenty-four hours, or D within six hours. Question number eight: The move Protect will protect your Pokemon against the following: A Tackle, B Sleep Powder, C Hail, D. Both A and B are correct. Um, and then question number nine: uh, For the best capture chance of wild Pokemon, it is recommended you use A uh, A Great Ball. A luxury ball, a premier ball, or an ultra ball. And then a final question, which is perhaps the toughest, because <laughs> I literally decided to make this fucking impossible. Um, uh, which of the following Pokemon would be capable of breeding with one another? A. Scissor and Abra. Uh, B. Meryl and Minan. C. Rapidash and Fero. Uh, or D. Cubone and Bagon. Bagel. Bagel. <laughs> there we Bagel. Go. Turn on the toggle. Mm, bagel. Okay. Um. So, got that one. Um. Let's see. What are the ones that I'm, am I unsure about? Because I have like tentative answers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I think that one. I know. And then. Man, you would think. I've been playing PokeMMO off and on for a while now, and they, like, give me the egg groups. <laughs> like, yeah. Is it really available? You would think I would remember this a lot better than I do, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, last two. Okay. Roll me another. Yep, roll me another again. Oh, okay, good. Good, is good, it, was, so, the, was the first one supposed to be an advantage? I remember. No, you it would have okay. been a 14 okay. for question two. I didn't have the character sheet set up with the toggle options, but it was like defaulting everything. Gotcha. That's but as he sits there, he looks at a few of them and just sort of like scratches and thinks and drums his fingers. Okay. Oh, shit. I was hoping I, I could put some faces. Now. <laughs> I don't even know if I answered all the questions. 
because I'm, I'm trying to space it out because I can't fucking see my answers and what <laughs> are on which one. If you Looks want. like you didn't type out D's or 10s. There we ah go. Thank you. Thank you. Put that away. Yep. Uh, okay, let me... And then which one will... Oh, so, okay. Hold on. I'm answering to Milo. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, that's fine, because I, I did want to, like, get rid of that so I could actually send you GM questions as well, but I had stuff in the way. Yes. And then I, I posted it. I also this is an, an awesome <laughs> challenge to start this on. I love this. This is great. <laughs> oh, good, how, how because... You... How do you what? How do you do the hidden? Because I've got mine, and I'm going to rapid fire these. I think Chekhov has to do it. Yeah, Chekhov can hide them uh, as the GM, or you could do, like, slash W, just do a whisper yeah, to GM. Yeah, if, if I hide it, it is also hidden from me. I can hide it yeah. from, like, all of us, but you should probably Discord whisper me the answer. Yeah, Discord or, also right. works. And sorry, I just want to be able to up. fucking put spaces. How do I space things? You can just type to me on Discord if you want. I know, yeah. but I'm trying to, again, on Discord, I'm trying to, it's like, shift put enter. a hold. Shift enter. Yeah. Shift enter. Okay, thank yeah. you. <clears throat> oh, so I figured out what you were asking right there at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, no. No. Soft return. <laughs> I think I know seven. I'm just going to give that one to you because you rolled so high. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't sure. Uh, and then ten? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> um, with an int check of six. With an int check of six. Oh boy. <laughs> mm. and I know that one. I think I got that one right. Okay. Probably not. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> <clears throat> with a, with <clears throat> that an all tracks. Yep. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, I think I sent that. Oh, it only sent the first line to GM. All right, uh, can you hide those? <laughs> yep, I can hide those. <laughs> Give me one sec. I can. Oh fix no, it. they can. Fi oh no, they can. They only hide. They hide one at a time. <laughs> I'm a monster. <laughs> I'm not going to You check off. So don't worry. I'm not going to cheat. No, no, you're. Yeah, you're good. Everybody's good. I don't mind. Um, yeah, yeah, it's all for fun. But it's just funny. I feel like I'm gonna be judged if I get a bunch of them wrong, but in like not like a bad way. No, yeah. Just like a haha, you fool. You fool. <laughs> I'll kill it and just gut instinct on like most of these. So <laughs> hopefully, there's no penalty for too many wrong answers. Okay, <laughs> he hands in his test. <laughs> All right, excellent. I um I accidentally uh made myself uh homework homework yeah because now I'm like oh <laughs> shit I got a grade wait I hate grades why did I do this to myself I have to grade in real life why did I make myself grade in <laughs> fucking D and D hell yeah uh, because Our... my D and D is Scantron <laughs> <laughs> well I hope you guys are having fun. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm really bad at tests, so I was he is going to be like the last like, one in the hall. But Which of these four types is fire weak to? And <laughs> it was like, alright, that's kind of where no. we started. And then immediately it was like, oh shit. Oh, sh oh shit. Oh dang. <laughs> it's on purpose. It's 100%. I was yeah. like, I want to I wanna <laughs> actually see. Because it's too, it's too commonly known, right? Like, what would an actual thing look like? <laughs> Feel it. it... Okay. There's gonna be more problems because I feel like I don't I don't know about Milo because he seems like he's gonna be our moral compass. Kim would absolutely start a fight in a city parking lot. So <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, are we all in the the same classroom? Do we finally get to see what kid looks like? <laughs> uh, we will in a second when you get outside of the class. Don't worry, I have that prepared okay. as well. Okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Right now you're too focused on scratching your heads and being like, wait, what the fuck? He's probably like that kid in the classroom where you all can feel the floor shaking because he's now turned in his test and is just anxiously <laughs> waiting, just tapping like, come on, come on, come on. V looks at the clock five seconds later, looks at the clock five seconds later. He's the one who makes everybody sit and wait for the full hour test because he does not finish. Monster. <laughs> <laughs> at least he, he doesn't finish until like the last minute probably i also love 
that for our character colors in this game, we all chose like kind of non-primary, like yeah, you did lavender and violet and orange as, as our character colors. It's it's dope. We have a lot of black in uh, Curse of Strahd. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. We've got a lot of spooky themed characters, and then like Aurora's bright and sunny one, and Ken's like silvery whitish glow. <laughs> yeah. Deal. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You hear How do me, I? Man. Scary. How do I roll to GM? GR? Yeah, uh, slash yes. GR. No, yeah, wait. GR. Or okay. you turn on the GM toggle yes. on your character. I don't have a GM toggle. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I, hold on, hold on. I will. On. <laughs> oh. I, I, yeah, I meant to fix them. I forgot. I don't know why it defaults with this stuff all, but like. Whisper toggle? Advantage toggle, whisper toggle. Yep. Oh, there we go. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, and then I want to do that one. Toggle, whisper toggle. There you go, Earth. Rejoin us, player. Nice. Oh. What happened? I just put the toggle switches that we normally have at the top of your character sheet, not at the top of your character sheet. Not right. the public to GM advantage disadvantage. That's oh, by right. the way, Milo, for the for question seven, I think uh -huh. I technically told you, you know for a fact what it is, but you put down a different answer. Do you want to change it? It said you said, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant to change it. Okay. And it, yeah, <laughs> it got. I changed it in the first one that I posted, but I had that saved to my clipboard, so I would definitely mm -hmm. have changed that to what he knows. Cool, cool, cool. Just making Thank sure. You. Yep. <laughs> I have done that in class before, actually. Been like, yeah, I know this one. Oh, figure it out. Now I'll have to go back and change that. No, <laughs> damn it. Get the test back. I'm like, shit. Right. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Hold on. I'm going to roll. Uh, I'm going to roll my own thing. For Everyone the else except proctor. For us. Yeah. I'm going to roll my own thing for the proctor to see. Okay. Um. No, not Chekhov V. <laughs> <laughs> Whisper to self. Uh, it's for question three, right, V? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, uh, I'm going to uh, text you Milo's results. This is super interesting. <laughs> Do you guys want to know the answers after they're finished? Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm legitimately curious. Down, I did yeah. have to guess a few of them. Oh, shit. OK. <laughs> hmm. He looks Don't down. He's not, he's not impressed with himself. He's disappointed. To be fair, to be fair, the entire test is like 50 questions, and most of them yeah. are way easier than this. So it's not. So we can like... only, in theory, fail ten, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. assuming our characters are smart enough to figure out the rest of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope. Let's let's not. Let's not <laughs> <do it. laughs> we don't even get our licenses. We don't even get. To <laughs> That's what I was worried. About. I was like, can we get a TPK right now, or we just have to like go to remedial Pokemon <laughs> school instead of starting our adventure? <laughs> I got a, that little tutorial they always send you through. It, if they assume you're like a three-year-old play a Pokemon for the first time, the little Pokemon Academy where they like, these status effects hurt you if you're not careful. Or... <laughs> yeah, right. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Because most of these questions are literally like that. They're like, which type is Fire Week to? Or like, how do you <laughs> capture a Pokemon? You throw a Pokeball. B, you <laughs> grab it. C, it's, it's like that. You should grab. Hell yeah, dude! Grab I it. wanna. I need to grab something dangerous right away. <laughs> <laughs> You'll only have the academy to blame. <laughs> um, V is that kid making everyone wait? Oh wait, no, you texted me. Yeah. Never mind. I got. I it. just. <laughs> I just did though. So yes. Okay. 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 Hold on. 
Okay. Oh, that's really funny. Okay. Probably that one that the teachers hate because he never takes it. He probably tipped the chair back on the hind two legs. It's just trying to balance, not even paying it. <laughs> yes, exactly. He this didn't is... get an A. That's, that's, that's what he's <laughs> He got like an 88. <laughs> How dare you? 82? <laughs> uh, somewhere. Okay. Oh, this is really funny. Okay. I'm excited to see your uh, answers. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. All right. So. So. Oh, yeah. So, 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 so. Excellent. Well, um, you filled out your sheets. And you have tapped the little submit button at the corner of your desk's uh, desk table's tablet screen. After a short loading time, uh, the results uh, beam up at you, and you've all passed. Um, however, uh, you did get a couple of the questions wrong. For uh, the sake of transparency, the answer to number one was, as all of you have gotten correctly, B, uh, ground type. Yeah. Um, answer to number two, in our local region of Kanto, um, nobody got this one right. And I didn't either. I had to look it up. It is surprising. Um, in our local re it's poison. There are really? a ridiculously yeah. large amount of poison Pokemon in Kanto. Didn't yes. think about it until right then. But yeah, <laughs> that, there yeah. are between all the freaking bug Pokemon that are there. Yep. And I thought it was normal or flying for sure. And then you were like, you know... Not yeah. that. Just like, yeah, okay, well, I guess that's so normal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That character, I completely spaced on Kanto. <laughs> so, okay, I know water is like the most abundant type. So, <laughs> yeah, that, that would have been true if it was like for regions overall, but. It's the Kanto part, so that is very on brand. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's very in character. Uh, the Oddish Pokemon line begins to develop secondary ca sex characteristics, meaning they begin to look different based on gender. After evolving into Gloom, Gloom and Violet Plume have gender differences. Oh. Um, I was on the third page. Uh, when running across wild Pokemon, the safer option is always to approach B, juvenile young Pokemon, because infant or recently hatched ones might be protected by a mother or a parent. And older ones will probably fuck your shit up for no reason at all. Because <laughs> <laughs> they feel like it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, trainers are allowed to engage in battles in the following areas. This is a little world building question. The answer is A. And A only. We will mm. go over that a little bit later. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, very worried right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a strange place I found myself in. <laughs> oh, don't worry, don't worry. It'll all, it'll oh, yeah. all make sense. Um, commanding or allowing your Pokemon to attack a civilian or another trainer will result in D, all of the above. Yes, you will lose your Pokemon, lose your license, or get arrested if you direct your Pokemon's attacks to anything except for other wild Pokemon or Pokemon on battle. Um, seven, captured Pokemon that exceed your trainer level carrying capacity must be transported back to your sponsoring Pokemon professor within 24 hours of being caught. Uh, number eight, uh, the move... Uh, protect will protect your Pokemon against the following. Uh, the answer was D. Both A and B, both Tackle and Sleep Powder, um, would not be effective. It protects against effects and physical moves. It would not protect against a weather effect like hail. Um, nine, for the best capture chance of wild Pokemon, it's recommended to use an <laughs> Ultra Ball. I feel like that one was pretty easy. Um, which are the only ones I got right. <laughs> Which of the following Pokemon would be capable of bringing with one another? The answer to this one uh, was uh, Marilyn Minan. Okay. That was my second guess. I, that wasn't what I, so I, I put down. the hard one right. That one is hard. I consulted the <laughs> PBH <laughs> on that one. Um, weirdly enough, Cubone and Bagon are different egg groups, despite the fact that they seem similar enough. Yeah. Um, <sighs> but yeah. Uh, you've all passed... 
different amounts. Uh, one by one, you file out of the room through the hallway uh, and into another room where a man behind a desk uh, takes your key card, scans it, hands it back to you, and it hands you your first ever Pokemon trainer license. Well, it's a permit. It's a provisional permit for now. You'll get your actual <laughs> card when you meet the professor. Also, because I forgot to draw the licenses because I was focused on drawing your characters. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, but yeah, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon of Waits! Um, and now, we will go to where you step out to next. Which is Celadon, uh, you exit the Celadon City Trainer Bureau, located, um, on the floors above its largest Pokemon Center, which lies in the city center. Um, you step out into what is honestly, like, a beautiful bluebird day. Now, Based on your scores, I'd say the first ones out would actually be, as ironically, the way you said it, V is the last one out. He hangs back. <laughs> um, Milo and Kid step out, and I do 100% have plans to show you the character art, but would you like to describe your characters first? Uh, sure. Let me pull up mine. So, Milo is he's probably shorter than Kid. He's not the tallest of his age, um, but he just, he walks with his back straight and his shoulders kind of back and he always has a smile and it seems cheerful, messy head of uh, like dirty blonde hair, uh, wears a orange jacket that cuts off just around like the bottom of his ribs. It's a Pokemon Rainer, Rangers jacket um, with the logo on the right sleeve and has his bag over one shoulder and down at his hip wears a pair of like brown khaki shorts um, and is probably just waiting for V to finish whatever he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. And what about you, kid? A uh, kid is like very, to sum it up, he looks scrappy. <laughs> he is not professionally dressed. He's not well dressed. He had, he's got a pretty good tan. Long purple hair that he keeps in a beanie, like not not a well kept beanie. Same with his hoodie; he's got a really roughed up gray hoodie, generic green backpack, you know, all of which look kind of beaten up, well worn. Nothing fancy. He's just got some like athletic shorts, some really roughed up sneakers, and plenty of like bruises and scrapes. He's got a couple bandages here or there. Like the the main ones you notice would be a bandage across like the bridge of his nose and his cheek. He's got bruises, but they don't look fresh. <laughs> I just want. Oh hell yeah! Oh yes. <laughs> that was the first time. Yeah, that would be the first time you guys are seeing this. Guy. We haven't seen it yet. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. So um, we've seen each other. <clears throat> Milo and Kit will start off. You guys walk out basically not shoulder to shoulder, but one after the other. Um, exit out onto the street just before the Pokemon Center, unless you are you want to wait for V inside. I'll leave that up to you. You have a couple oh, of moments. Walking. Okay. You have a couple of moments if you want to do anything. Mm -hmm. do, like, were we told what scores we had? Um, yes, when you finished the test and pressed the submit button, um, you were told your scores. I would say that out of 50 total questions, um, you both got the same score for the sake of simplicity. Um, you both got, uh, f uh, let's see, hold on, doing math, doing math, doing math. <laughs> I'll say you got like 45. I saw you in the, the, what was it, the testing room, right? He holds out one hand towards you. Milo, nice to meet you. He, he kind of like adjusts his beanie, like, a little bashfully not not because of them but because he's not super proud of how many he got right but he'll reach out take my little <laughs> kid ah kid those some of those questions were hard that uh that one with the vile plumes i man thought i had that one but it just shows we got more to learn always got more to learn right he's kind of nod got his hands on his hips like yeah Apparently, I'm just finding out we, we can't battle in parking lots. This is new to me. I don't know what... 
You can battle in the parking lots where you come from? Huh. Yeah, you can't do that here. They don't... Too much, uh... Property damage. And he puts up, like, finger quotes. <laughs> um... No, we, we have to, I guess, take it to a gym when we want to... I don't know. We'll figure it out, right? It's 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 a small step, small setback, little little bump in the road, but we can we can get there. Just kind of like nodding along, like that, that makes sense. Yeah, yep. Mm -hmm. Trying to, still trying to wrap his head around the really strict battle regulations that he is <laughs> simply finding out about. <laughs> <sighs> All so right. they don't. If you're not familiar with them, we're like, are you not from? You kind of just. Are you not from Celadon? Are you not from Kanto? Because it's all of Kanto. Oh, uh, no. Uh, I'm, I'm actually from Johto. Oh. But nice. I've kind of played with the place. To, like, I guess, I guess, to be fair, things are probably a lot different in each region. I just wasn't expecting it to be this. I just, I'm going to have to be on my P's and Q's here. Well, uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. You, you, you seem to be taking care of yourself. Nobody's gotten hurt yet <laughs> and he's still like Milo's still looking around like going, where the hell is V what a... we gotta go find our professor okay V do you wanna describe your character and however he rolls up I guess okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh the the sliding door comes back open again and a really lanky kid with a uh, short spiky black, uh, brown hair and he, he's just like pulling a pair of sunglasses up and putting them up on his head <laughs> um <laughs> wearing sunglasses indoors because you know that's what the cool but, kids do <laughs> that's what he's about oh exactly but he's also wearing a black leather jacket with gold patches that have pokemon and pokeball and a couple other things on them and a uh, knapsack just regular jeans and shoes and he just walks out strides out the doors all right loser guess who aced it <laughs> no, no 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 i'm i'm just happy you passed you passed right yeah of course i pa what did i pass yes milo i passed of course 100 percent. <laughs> gives him a very very questioning look I mean, that's impressive. Then, um, with a score like that, why don't you lead us towards a Pokemon professor? We can get a sponsorship going and, uh, you know, start our, our journey. You know, if you if you aced it, we can lead with that and it'll make us just look that much better. Because I got, like, a 90. Uh, so I, I did really pretty well myself. There were a few I got wrong. Some of those were hard. <laughs> Kid's just doing that wavy hair. Like, eh. oh, uh, this is Kid. Uh, he was in the testing room with us. He's starting his journey here, too. He's from Johto. That's cool, I think. Where's Johto? My <laughs> love. the country to the west. Oh. It's over. Like, it's like next door neighbors to Kanto. He's kind of pointing yeah. in a general <laughs> direction. <laughs> Johto, right. I mean, yeah. You, of course you're coming you here. No... Hold on hey. a second. You don't... What? You don't know about? Okay, never mind. We'll talk about it later. Uh, yeah. Um, sorry. <laughs> these. Also, the, these things don't have like. The professor's not gonna be able to see the score, right? Because like, if he knows that I got a hundred percent, he's gonna make me do like, more work. I mean, and he, he he's like holding the license out and turning it back and forth. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure. I, I assume they'd be able to. They have to know how we did so that they know that we passed i mean technically well, i guess failed, we have the original license we, if you failed they wouldn't give it to you that's true. that's true well um where are we heading did did you know somebody that we were heading to we have to go home right professor lives like a couple doors down okay so we're going back to pallet town or pallet i assume <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, honestly, our characters would probably know, but we your don't. Yeah, like... your characters would absolutely know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I just don't want to interrupt. Yeah, you would no, absolutely know um, that after you're finished here, you would come back the way you came, which is how you came is on the train line. There is a train line, and I will just switch back to the other map just to show you what I mean. Um, that connects Celadon to Viridian City, and then there's another train line that connects you to Pallet Town. So, okay. it's a pretty simple process. In fact, the Pokemon Center is really near, next, um, really close to the train station. Uh, so, if you'd all like, you can just head over to the train station, and. Um, you? Yeah. You, and you then, so this would be the professor that we we both would have known from Pallet, right? So, um, honestly, just... kind of yes. The professor in Pallet, I will give this information to you absolutely free because you live there. Um, is relatively new. Um, it's not that you don't know them, you've seen them before around town, it's just that they're a bit of a shut-in, and also mm -hmm. due to the fact after, like, Professor Oak's passing, um, a lot of big shoes to fill. So, there have been actually a rotation of Pokémon professors over the past, like, ten years, so when you guys were growing up in Palette, You've known actually like several Pokemon professors, um, but none of them have really stuck around very long. You know that there's another one in there now that has been around for quite a long time, like about a year or so. Um, but because you've been busy like finishing up uh, junior high school and, you know, taking the course and stuff, haven't really had a chance to meet them. Um, I'll leave it up to you if you've like been around, but haven't really had a reason to. So you don't know them intimately. Yeah. Well, I guess v at least the best knows part. Yeah, V knows where the Pokemon lab is at least. Yes. Yep. But he he turns to a kid and just like, So you're not from here, do you need do you need a sponsor? Yes, absolutely. And it sounds like if you aced it, you're the right person to show me to who that is, so uh, if you guys don't mind, let me tag along. Yeah. I don't mind at all. I mean, we it usually runs in threes. I think. That's what I think it's I've seen. Yeah. Sure. Cool. All right. All right. Uh, where easy. is the train station? All right. Just for funsies. Me. Yeah, just for funsies. <laughs> roll me like a history check. <laughs> uh, you you roll it. Me. Milo will give you. Uh, I'll I'll help. Milo will help, so you can have. Advantage. Just three children oh, okay. standing around, cool. <laughs> standing around pointing. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he points directly the opposite way, and then Milo grabs his arm and turns it the other way. <laughs> this way. Yeah. All right. <laughs> You're still on GM roll. Oh, oh yeah, it was a. I 20. rolled shit. I rolled an eleven and then the natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Damn. Good first roll. Well, it's not the first first roll, but first. Normal role. <laughs> um, all right. Well, you guys uh, begin to slowly head over. Kid, you're uh, trailing along with them. You walk past, like, tons of just, like, stores, storefronts. Um, Celadon City hasn't changed a lot since you, got, you two have visited. Kid, it's up to you if you've been here before or if this is your first time coming. Um, but yeah. At the end of the... I think train that can go all the way here from home we've probably been here oh. you know, a few times probably um especially good for like shopping it's it's the main district essentially uh prior to this uh technically technically speaking like saffron city used to be really big um but after kind of some historical events occurred it's no longer as large as celadon celadon has kind of grown and to be the main shopping center so you guys walk past um, a couple of store pro uh, fronts, you walk past, uh, like, a coffee shop that has uh, a familiar green mark, and it says above on the sign, R-Box, um, <laughs> if you wanted to get a coffee. <laughs> it's the game. Can we get... Sorry, you're cutting out a little bit. What was it? I said, is the game corner here? Can we gamble? <laughs> <laughs> well, kids, it's your first time here, so, I mean, you can possibly look for it, but you don't see anything, at least for now. Um, but basically, at the end of the street, you see um, 
a big like arc that opens up to an entry to a large like window a large uh, building with many windows that is the trade station where you guys basically arrived this morning um, so you file back on in there you know that the next trade is coming in about 10 minutes now uh, one thing that I should probably point out for the sake of just kind of painting this picture is things have changed over the past 30 years and this is out of character because your characters are only what 14 I think all of you are 14 you've decided mm -hmm. um, so you wouldn't have noticed the change but to a person that has been to Celadon City before, one thing that stands out starkly is kind of the lack of Pokemon. It's not that Pokemon aren't around. Obviously, you just walk past Arbox, which their sign is a giant ass Arbok. In fact, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna post it because I found this online and I was like, yes, this is perfect. I'm just gonna post yeah. it on the. If we thing. had ten minutes, you probably would have run back and gotten some coffee. That's fair. Um, but yeah, so like. There's signs, there's oh, yeah. advertisements, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, for all kinds of things. Clothing featuring Pokemon, like little toys featuring Pokemon, um, huge like movie posters featuring Pokemon. But you don't see any actual Pokemon aside from the ones that, you know, you can look up and you can see some Pidgey on the edge of a building. Um, and obviously, like, if you were to go into perhaps, like, a local park or something, you might see a Caterpie or two, but nobody's walking with Pokemon. And to the three of you, that's kind of, well, to two of you, um, I'm not going <laughs> to be, be speaking for Kid because he's not local, but for the two of you, this is kind of normal. Not a lot of people walk with Pokemon anymore. Um, and you know that... Although it's not illegal necessarily. Oh, we lost somebody. Oh, we got somebody yeah. back. <laughs> Else, I always drop my phone at least once a game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but you know that this is pretty standard. It's just because, like, if you're walking around with a giant monster, people tend to get nervous. Some people give you weird looks. <laughs> In many of the stores, they're not allowed anyway, so most people just don't bother. Even if they have Pokemon. I got service Pokemon. Hmm? What about service Pokemon? Um, you have seen service <laughs> are Pokemon they allowed in before. Uh, yeah, specific ones. Uh, but service Pokemon are <laughs> limited to like the size and like the type that they are. Um, a lot of the service Pokemon actually tend to be smaller uh, ones that can like ride on your shoulder or yeah. things seeing like Eevee. Growlithe. <laughs> seeing Eevee. Yeah, seeing Eevee. Yeah. Seeing I Eevee. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, see, seeing I Sylveon. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Just wraps you in one of its little tendrils. What the fuck is it called? Ribbons? <laughs> tendrils. The, the ribbon, like like the canes for the people that can't see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, you walk into uh, the train station and you glance at the board that advertises like all of the trains, and you know that another one is going to be departing in about ten minutes. In fact, it's already kind of like there at the station, so you can just walk on in um, okay is there milo were there any r box in the train station um can i take a look around are there any r box in the train station sure roll me an r box perception check r box perception <laughs> r box perception i want both the pokemon and the coffee chain the sad yeah, thing is it's yeah. looking for actual pokemon <laughs> Arbok, not the coffee <laughs> um 18. Yeah, 18, not bad. Uh, you do you do not see a Starbucks like in your immediate vicinity, but you know that there's one on like the second floor. Um, because you just walked past the map and you saw the little symbol. <laughs> you don't see it's any one... actual Arbox, unfortunately. Above us? You got, what, 10 minutes? If you hurry, you should be able to make it. I could try to hold it, or I could run How for you. How fast can I run? Shit. <laughs> How high yeah, is your deck? Just, you I can use... hold your bag if you have your money. You have money, uh, right? He he already ran off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, he stopped for like two seconds to think if he had money and where it was, and then was just like fuck it and ran. Yep. We'll try to hold the train or see you home if you miss this one. <laughs> Weird, huh? Hmm? He's just like watching him run off. Genius is weird. Yeah, I mean. He's a good guy, though. Like, 
he, he could seem a bit rough around the edges, but he's he's got a good heart. Aw. Um, so yeah, <laughs> V rushes upstairs. Roll me a dex check just for funsies. <laughs> you have ten minutes, it's hey. fine. And then I was gonna... I didn't get finished typing it out, but for expediency, uh, Milo should definitely write, uh, roll an insight for... Oh boy. My roll, roll an insight, but why? <laughs> <laughs> 13? Yeah, I'm sure... Did... <laughs> you have been friends for he a long definitely... time. Definitely wasn't lying about his score. <laughs> oh yeah, no, no, no. He 100% did <laughs> check that. He, he, he was humoring you. <laughs> Kid fully believed. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Um... V, you do make it upstairs, and you do make it to the R-Box line, but you, like, elbow a couple of people out of the way, and there's a couple of old ladies that give you one of those sour looks, like, Oh, that child running in the train station. No, you shouldn't do that, you know. Um, but it's not a big deal. Uh, you go, you get to R-Box, I would say. So here's another fun thing. A lot of people are like, the Pokemon economy is broken. The Pokemon economy in the Pokedollars system is based on Japanese yen instead of dollars. <laughs> so when you're buying something for like 300 Pokedollars, you're actually buying it for like three bucks. Yeah. Or, yeah. The Pokemon yeah. economy. Yeah, the Pokemon economy is <laughs> in shambles. Um, and because it's our box, I will actually say, you know, with the amount of money that you have on you, you got here, you, you know, you bought the train ticket, I'd say subtract mm -hmm. like... 200 polka dollars from your inventory if you want to get a coffee just for yourself uh he'll grab milo a cookie okay uh, subtract another 100 <laughs> okay. nothing for the new guy <laughs> I, just want, I just keep looking at milo he, he's so wholesome <laughs> right <laughs> he, he is so wholesome <laughs> He's just sitting there. He's got his his little messenger bag like in his lap, and he's sitting on the, the train seat. And every night, two minutes, he just looks out and looks up for V, and then he just sort of sits there with a smile, waiting for the train to go. Okay. <laughs> so you guys went inside the train car already. You're not like. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He, he would have gotten on, and and that's what he told V. He's like, "We're gonna head back, and if you don't make it, I guess okay. take the train back <laughs> on your own." <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. He's too excited, and. Can't, can't put this off any further. 100%. Um, so you guys are sitting there and, like, you're kind of watching out of the corner of your eye the minutes stick down because there's, like, a counter that's like, one minute, two, you know, three minutes, two departure. Two minutes, two <laughs> departure. One minute, two departure. And eventually V does come back. It's not a matter of timing. I like to think V is just taking his sweet time. <laughs> do we have cell phones? You do. You do have phones, yeah. Okay. Just um, curious. He he wouldn't have used it for this, but it brought up the thought in my mind. So I was curious if we had. Do we get like sweet ass? What what are they? Poke what, what what did the Poke Gear? Phones? What did oh yeah, Poke the Gears? Gear, where it was Ooh. like it was like a smartphone <laughs> with the Pokedex and everything all in one. Essentially, essentially yes. Right. So you don't have the Pokedex featured quite yet because you need to get that upgrade from the professor. Mm -hmm. But you do all have what is essentially a smartphone. Um which is able to be upgraded to also include the Pokedex Heck yeah. okay. in this day and age. But right now it just functions mostly like a cell phone. Um. <laughs> now, will it be That's a like... problem, kid, as Milo, as he holds move up, that, and he kind of shows it to him, but it's just like a massive crack across the screen. Does it still turn on? Yeah, he pushes the lock button or whatever and he lights up. Huh. Should work fine. I mean, what it looks like doesn't matter. All that matters is that it works, right? Okay, cool. That's wholesome, too. Stop being so wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, you get on the train, and eventually, like, 30 seconds prior to departure, V finally walks in with a Starbucks. <laughs> with a our box, nice. sorry. You made it. Uh, he, he thumbs up for a second and then takes the bag with the cookie out of his mouth and hands it to, you, hands it to Milo. I only had to run a little bit. It's fine. Didn't spill any. Okay. And then he just, like, drops down into the seat next to him. He'll hand the, the bag back. 
Because for you. Really? Thank you. Um, he'll break it into three pieces and hand mm -hmm. one piece to Kid and one piece to me. Aw. Just shrugs and shoves it in his mouth. <laughs> okay, so Viridian, and then we take the transferring line to Pallet City, and then we go see who's in charge of the lab now. Do you know? I don't even know their name. Do I know if it's like a guy or male, female, otherwise? Um, it is otherwise. You know that the professor's uh, name is Professor Acacia. Um, and yeah, they're just non-binary. But you've like seen them and you know of their existence. But the only interaction you've had with this person is like once you walked past the lab and you were like, hey, maybe I should look in the window and see what the fuck is up with that. And you looked in the window and like you saw them and then they saw you and you shared a really awkward moment before they stood up and like slowly <laughs> closed the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> and as that has been like the sum of your interactions. Yep. Yeah. He, he'll sit back, put his feet up on the other bench and just uh, yeah, they're kind of weird. Um, uh, I, I, Professor Acorn, <laughs> maybe. Doesn't I think that sounds right. Sound quite right, but I don't know enough <laughs> to argue, so I'm just gonna let you introduce us since you got, you know, 100%, and, uh, you know. Every and like, time you say looks it. and like nods and you know <laughs> your dad shut up Milo <laughs> if we're gonna if we're gonna start our journey we gotta get somebody He's not to there. sponsor us no I know but it, it helps like you know it could, it could you know get us that sponsorship we need we don't need him to get us brownie points to sponsor we all did, I'm assuming, good on the test. Yeah. And we've been, we've fine. both been, we've <laughs> both been pretty prominent members of Palette. I'm not sure prominent well, you is have. the word okay. they use for you, but yeah. Uh, Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He just kind of like smiles a little bit and puts his head down. I was just, just throwing ideas out there. I still think Thank you is. should be the one to talk to him. We though. don't need help. All right, and slowly the train <laughs> begins to roll out of the station. It's relatively, it's so smooth that you didn't really even notice it was moving until finally the scenery behind the window uh, starts changing. And um, to be fair, this is a weekday and it's like on a Monday in the middle of the day. So you're actually in a car mostly by yourself. At some point, um, you see that there's like a businessman that comes in. Um, but then, like, immediately he gets a call and he stands up and he goes, like, out again. And you're basically just riding in a car all by yourselves, just the three of you. And there's scenery are you, rolling are outside. These, are they, like, closed cabinet, like, tr train things or just open benches? They're just open benches. Um, okay. However, you do know Thanks. that in order to uh, get back to Viridian, it's going to take you, like, eh, an hour and a half. Not that bad. <laughs> he puts his feet in the way of uh, one of the spaces for somebody potentially to sit so that they don't <laughs> claiming your space <laughs> unless if yeah, nobody else just... wants to do anything it'll just be <laughs> probably just chat with nothing nothing important Okay. Talking about like what we're gonna eat, you know. Right. Tell kid a little bit about Pallet City. Probably get a little elaboration on Weird Hal when it comes to the new professor. Yeah, uh, we don't we don't really know much about them. It, it, mm -hmm. We used to have a really really prominent one here, but um, he's no longer the professor in Pallet. So now we've just had a bunch of people coming and going and. Plus, all professors are kind of, you know, and he kind of just, like, <laughs> makes the motion for crazy. <laughs> that, that is accurate, but maybe not fair. 
Mm. If the shoe fits. <laughs> Bullet train. Bullet train. Yeah, you guys continue <laughs> this uh, little chat for a while. There is a, you know, we're in the future. We're in the future, you guys. <laughs> um, so there's like a TV basically on kind of the like the side panel between two windows, so you can kind of watch TV as you go along. Scenery rolls along. Just to give you an idea, you are going through essentially um, what used to be kind of like the outskirts of the Vir Viridian Forest. Um, so you roll through like some grasslands for a while. You can glance outside. You see a couple of like Dodrio running off in the distance through the fields. And then they disappear just as quickly. Um, I guess everybody roll me like a perception check to see what you notice, just for funsies, since we're setting the scene. Perception. Oh. 21. Yes. <laughs> 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 <Three> tracks. <laughs> yep. Um, He's got his sunglasses back on. He can't see anything anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, V is literally like on his phone browsing, yep. I don't know, like whatever. The Poker social... Reddit. Yeah. yeah. Poker, Poker Reddit. Poker Reddit. <laughs> oh, hey, I have a little icon for that too. Hold on. Oh, no. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Yeah, poker Reddit. Hold on. <laughs> well, now see, I want to make Hell the yeah. character sheets look like like cell phones with these buttons at the bottom. Oh, <laughs> that would be awesome. Oh, okay. I can see that. <laughs> um, poker resignation. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, both Milo and Kid probably are. Watching the outside for a while and you see that you're like rolling past and you're coming up on not a mountain range necessarily But just like a hill and you know that this train will eventually like um, Go through the Viridian forest and then you glance at the TV and there's Just like a TV com uh, program going. It looks like um, they're reporting some stuff on the news. There has been another attack um, up in Saffron City actually um, and there's like a little line, what are they called, the ticker tapes or whatever, that run mm. down. So even though it's muted, you can kind of read. Uh, and mm. it looks like that there was like a, a break-in on another storefront in Saffron. Um, a lot of damages. And once again, it was like some hooligans that broke in and it looks like they used Pokemon. So um, just the TV is discussing like, oh, like the police have to get involved. And it looks like they might actually um, put more constraints on having Pokemon in public or like start checking things more. Um, when you go into a store and kind of crack down on just having Pokemon out. So I imagine for both of you, you're kind of like, eh. Yeah, Milo frowns. Um, he throws his hands up like, God. <laughs> I mean, that's... People like that, they don't... They don't treat Pokemon right. They don't treat the world right. And that's why we can't, you know live like we used to, where pe Pokemon and people could live together. He just sort of leans back into the chair. We have to stay separated so that people in this society can feel safe, because there are people in this society that live to make others feel unsafe. I don't understand it. All I think I can do is be a trainer that makes people feel safe. And maybe that'll be enough to make a difference. It's just kind of I mean, nodding in, like, out loud. Okay, so we got somebody who hit 100% so natural talent and just outstanding morality. You two are weirdly impressive. Are you talking to me? What? Hello? Are we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's I'm happening? Very, I'm very used to a completely different crowd of people, and... I... Genuinely don't know what to say here. You guys are pretty hey. great, I guess is the best way I could put it. Thanks. Is he talking about how cool we are? I think so. I mean... Hell yeah. <laughs> you, you seem pretty hey. cool yourself. Nice and laid back. I, I actually haven't met anyone from Johto. Not at least anyone that came from there recently. So, uh, I, don't, I don't know much. I know a little bit about the history uh, between... Kanto and Johto, but not not 
like somebody who lives there would. Pretty different climate, I will say. I, I think they handle the idea of people mistreating Pokemon and using them as weapons a little bit rougher than here. It seems like they're a little bit on the safer side here, which is good, I guess, because, you know, less chance for misuse, but it also doesn't really stop the problem. Yeah, it just throws a blanket over it so no one sees it anymore. I mean, they mostly just yell at you and then tell you that you're doing shit wrong, even though you're not. Are you talking about Pokemon or your daily life, E? <laughs> he just smiles. Come on, I'm just messing with you. You're so mean today. Why are you being so mean? I'm not meaning to. I'm really, I'm not. Uh, I'm just excited. <laughs> do, you, do you know? No, because you don't know it. <sighs> if we knew anything what? about... What do uh, I... What, what, what? You know what starters Acacia has. Oh. Ah. Uh... Hmm. Not... If we had something really? like be excited, I'm just I'm just really amped, and I'm sorry. I mean, they're gonna give us something, and I think it's usually like a water or a fire or a grass. That that sounds right. There are a lot of those, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but does it matter? Like, it's gonna have a water move or a fire move or a grass move. Maybe. Sometimes they, they don't start by knowing the moves that use whatever their type is. Sometimes when they're born, they don't know it. You gotta Wait. teach them. That's, that's part of it. Wait, why would it not know... If it's a water type, why wouldn't it know water stuff? I mean, a lot it, of them tackle. It kind of makes a like, shoulder charge motion. <laughs> they, they just sort of like throw that? themselves. Yeah. In the middle of this conversation, everything around you kind of goes dark for a moment, and you're all like, huh? And then you realize you've entered a tunnel. Keep going. <laughs> We're getting closer Wait, hold to on, I gotta, I gotta hold my breath. You hold your breath through the tunnel? Yes. You hold your breath through the tunnel. V suddenly, like, shuts up and is just holding his breath. Are you guys doing anything? Or do you just continue talking? Uh, yeah, we'll just continue talking. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, if we're going through the tunnel, we should be in Viridian in 15, 20 minutes, and then from there, an hour or so, give maybe another hour for us to find the professor, and if they're not, you know, busy, we probably have our first Pokemon in the next three to four hours. The intercom yeah. system goes, ding! Please sit down if you are standing. This is is an emergency announcement. Please sit down if you're standing. And suddenly, you hear something from outside of the train. No. It's a large rumbling. <laughs> and then I need everybody to roll me a constitution saving throw. <laughs>